You know, nature provides so much beauty and so much uh, abundance. And it's just amazing to think that you can go out right in your local woods and find mushrooms and grow them and have unlimited food source if you know what you're doing. These are an example of some uh, local genetics that I have, the Ogilvy oysters. It's amazing how you can just take a sample from the forest and clone it in a lab. These will turn into up to a half a pound to a little over a pound each flush. And then each uh, block will flush up to three times. Uh, going out and I'm hiking trails looking for any kind of uh, common mushrooms that would be good uh, edible species to bring into local markets or restaurants. So I'm taking the genetics from tissues um, that I'm cloning in my lab on petri dishes. The oyster mushrooms, they're the easiest to cultivate. They don't contaminate as easy, so you can work with um, a dirtier culture and actually still get success. So when I'm uh, taking a clone from the forest and I take it back home, there's always transportation. I mean, there's walking through the woods and you're in your car, going into your home or your lab or your workspace, and there's a lot of contaminants just floating in the air. So when you have this, um, they recommend to soak it in hydrogen peroxide for just a, about half a minute and just to really like kill everything on the outside of it and then you're gonna cut it open to get the direct inner tissue after you wipe it off with 70% isopropyl. So I like to start right as center as possible. And I'm gonna make just a small square. And then cut from the bottom to lift it out. It's gonna be as simple as dropping that onto the media. Yeah, this here is some rhizomorphic growth. This is uh, from my first clone. This would be an example of my grow, one of my grow kits. This is a seven pound grow kit. Um, this one's ready to bust, so uh, somebody would just have to slice a hole anywhere in this bag, and you're gonna get a couple pounds of mushrooms. Um, I've decided to introduce grow kits to my community. Um, just spore syringes, any kind of uh, grain spawn that I could actually provide people to do simple garden grows and straw in their backyard or hard wood chips that they could uh, inoculate with my mushroom grain spawn. And so I'm trying to expand the varieties and my connections for bringing more into my community.